Action. Oh, so okay. Hi, welcome to Leilani Drinks to Brown Stuff. Get caught off guard, you gotta just jump in, I guess. And I'm your host, Leilani. And thank you for joining me for another episode in my backyard at the Avocado Ranch. Now you might be looking at this bottle and going, is that open? And you know I don't do open bottles. However, our friend Lincoln over at Meatic Explorer, um, uh, I ended up just going to see him finally and dropping off the uh, Walking Dead Red uh, for him for being one of our big followers. And he ended up saying that he had tried this whiskey and didn't like it. And then he waited a month and he tried it again off of a recommendation and he still didn't like it. So he was like, I wonder if you like it. And I was like, well, let me try. Let's see. <laughs> so tonight we are getting into Duncan Taylor 12 year blended scotch whiskey. Now it states that it's only 40% to ABV, which means if you double it, double it, 80 proof, yo. <laughs> So it is made with like malt grains and whiskeys from over 25 distilleries from all regions over Scotland. So they state that they have like the softness of Speyside, the powerfulness of Islay, the delicacy of the uh, uh, lowlands and the richness of the highlands, all maturing in oak casks. And it is produced and bottled in Scotland. Now in 1938, uh, this family owned Scotch specialist ended up registering uh, their company under Duncan Taylor and Company. And uh, they were known for cask, uh, what, cask brokerage? Cask sales? Cask something, they did something with cask. Hold on one second. <laughs> ah, I was right. Cask brokers. Yo. <laughs> and they were also a trading company. And they did all of this in Glass Glow, Scotland. That's a gas glow? Glass glow. Gas glow. No? Glass glow. No wonder. It's such a tongue twister. I want to refer to the easier way of saying it. That's in Scotland, by the way. <laughs> so in the 1960s, a man by the name of Abe Rosenberg, who was a master blender and a native New Yorker, who actually made his fortune in like um, importing J&B scotch into the U.S. after World War I, he ended up purchasing Duncan Taylor and Company. Uh, from there, he ends up acquiring cask from these like premium distilleries and amassing over 4,500 casks, which they state that some of these, many of them are still within their vaults, uh, their warehouse, under Duncan Taylor. He passed away in 1994, but in 2002, a whiskey merchant by the name of Evan Shan ended up acquiring Duncan and uh, returning it, it back to like Scottish hands. Um, now it sits on the peripheries of Speyside at Huntley, Abendingshire, <laughs> and they just celebrated 80 years in 2018. So, uh, enough is enough. I'm ready to try this whiskey that my friend Lincoln did not like. You're getting Lincoln sloppy seconds. <laughs> Lincoln can give me his sloppy seconds if he's gonna keep giving me almost full bottles. <laughs> Thanks, Lincoln. <laughs> so let's pop this baby open and see what this blended 12 year scotch. And this is what I say, guys. You know, sometimes the 12 year, the 15 year, Oh, still with the cork pop, see? So funny. I, it, it, it is a delicate layer of a lot of that. The, the you, you get a kiss of like the peat and moss. <laughs> and a vanilla and honey undernotes in this. Interesting. Hardly any smoke that I'm smelling and a little bit of orange. So let's, 
A woman's pole, a woman's pole. Got to do that woman's pole. <laughs> That's a whole lot of 12 year scotch there, young lady. Ah oh, yes, it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, now I smell a little bit more of the peat and the moss. A hint of the smoke, a little bit of black licorice. And that tobacco, just faint at the very end. And I keep smelling it because I keep feeling like there's a fruit in there, but I can't decipher what fruit. Besides a little bit of a grapefruity kind of zest. Hmm, I don't know. It's like a melon. Okay. Smooth, watery mouth kind of feel. There is a pop that comes like almost right in the middle, but it's quick. Like as soon as you sip, it's then pop. Not so pop forward at the beginning, but right in the middle. I like the peat and the smoke in this. It's a nice little warmth that's going on. Okay. That black licorice hits, and I'm not the biggest fan of black licorice, but because of the smoke that ends up just kind of tracing right over it, it, it just goes back nicely. Hmm. I don't think it's that bad, Lincoln. <laughs> you know, and sometimes it's just scotches, you know? They have to hit you in a certain way on a certain day. And if you're not ready for it, sometimes it's just, mm. Yeah, I feel like it's a nice, good, watery mouth scotch kind of feel. Nothing's blowing my socks off about this but it feels really solid to me. What's the price point for this, normally? Mm. I know you got it, but for free. But I know, I got it for free. Did you look up the price? I didn't, I didn't want to. Are you gonna look up the price right now for me? <laughs> so, as he's looking up the price, just so that you know what this bottle may cost, um, you know, scotches and Irish whiskeys can hit very weird on the palate. And when I first started out drinking whiskeys, I had like no time for any of the scotches. I was not having it. They just didn't lay on my tongue well, but eventually I started enjoying the, I don't know, the peat and the smoke. It, it just ended up being different and I enjoyed that kind of of uh, difference in their whiskeys as I do our bourbons and our rye, although rye obviously, you know. 25 bucks. 25? So not bad. A $25 scotch whiskey, that just helped bring this up a little bit more to me because I mean the licorice on the back end you could still taste it just slightly and I'm not the biggest licorice fan like I said the nice kind of thing going on but to me everything else about it is pretty just nice and standard to a scotch whiskey so for 25 bucks on a bottle of whiskey 12 year that you can get a scotch I mean it's a nice you know thing to have if you like scotches. So I would have to give this Duncan Taylor 12 year, three and a half kisses. Because even though your friends might not like it, you may. So you might end up getting a bottle of whiskey. Yay, which I did. Thanks Lincoln.